Hey guys, how's it going? Seth Williams here from retipster.com. In this video today, I wanted to let you know about a handful of other real estate focused YouTubers that I've been following for a while. This is kind of fun for me because uh, as a content creator in this space, somebody who has made a lot of videos, uh, I'm very familiar with the challenge behind making a good video. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you have to do right to have a good video. You have to have something good to say, something that's actually gonna help people and inform people. That's pretty much the most critical component. And believe it or not, that sometimes can be a challenge to have something that hasn't already been said a hundred times by other people or to have a unique take on it. And even if you do have something to say, when you talk about video, there's so many things that have to be dialed in. I mean, you have to look presentable, first of all. For me, that's always a big challenge. <laughs> you always have to have a good uh, background, environment, lighting, audio. Your delivery and your vocal tone and facial expressions have to be on point. And even things like, you know, you can't be too long-winded or boring in your video, but you also have to be thorough enough so that you're given enough information and that what you're saying actually makes sense and that there's some value there. Anyway, I just know how much work it is to make a good video. And there's naturally a lot of people that I follow and watch their videos all the time because I think they do a great job. And I wanted to let you know who I've been paying attention to lately. Chances are, uh, if I think it's worth my time to watch these people's videos, there's something in it for you too. These people are probably worth checking out at least, and maybe even subscribing to their channels if you're on YouTube a lot. All right, so the first person on my list here is a guy by the name of Ken McElroy. So I discovered Ken a lot of years ago now when I first read his book, The ABCs of Real Estate Investing. He's one of the rich dad advisors that works with Robert Kiyosaki. And most of Ken's videos are pretty simple. It's like a video feed of him talking, showing things on a whiteboard maybe, maybe interviewing a guest. And they're usually a little longer form, like 20 minutes or longer, where he's discussing a topic or a strategy or getting input from somebody else on what they're doing. And Ken focuses is uh, a lot more on like larger apartment buildings, commercial stuff. And uh, the thing I love about Ken's videos is that whenever I see the thumbnails of his videos, I always end up sticking around and watching most of the thing because he just has this good way of hooking the audience and just explaining things that sometimes can be pretty complicated in a way that uh, anybody can understand it, even somebody as dense as myself. And that was actually one of the original things that really got me about Ken's book, The ABCs of Real Estate Investing, is that he explains how to invest in pretty large properties that most people would sort of think, oh, I can't do that, that's too much for me. But it really helps simplify things and helps a lot of people see that anything is possible. And I just really appreciate how he's able to deconstruct complex topics and make them very uh, palatable and easy to understand. Ken's channel is absolutely worth subscribing to. So I'm gonna link to it below, go check it out. So next up on the list is Max Maxwell. So if you tend to watch real estate related content on YouTube at all, I'm willing to bet you've probably seen one of his thumbnails pop up at some point, because the guy is killing it on YouTube right now. And he kind of has been ever since I've been watching his channel, which has been at least a couple years now. He's just doing everything right. Like if you watch any one of his videos, they're always interesting. They're always done well. His delivery is always on point. They're never too long. He really knows what he's doing. He's really good at delivering the message. He's really good at showing people around his business as he's out in the trade, as he's checking out houses, as he's talking to people. Max really knows how to make a great YouTube video. He's got a ton of subscribers and I'm sure that number is only gonna go up. It's really not surprising. Whether you're into house wholesaling or not, there's bound to be something you can learn from his channel. So this is definitely one to check out and subscribe to if you haven't already. The next one on my list here is Clint Coons. So Clint is another guy that I've been aware of pretty much for as long as I've been running retipster.com. I've just seen a lot of his articles and videos all over the place. And what I like about Clint is that he's probably one of the more prominent attorney figures that I know of who also is involved in real estate investing and who also is willing to actually make content in videos the way he does. And it's actually unique to find somebody who who does all of those things together. There's a lot of real estate attorneys out there, but not ones that are willing to make YouTube videos and actually do a good job of them. Likewise, there's a lot of real estate people who do YouTube stuff, but guess what? 
they're not real estate attorneys. So Clint has just a really nice blend of specialties and things that he does well. And uh, I've legitimately learned a lot of helpful stuff from watching his videos. If you're looking for somebody who covers a lot of legal issues that real estate investors have to deal with all the time and actually have the credentials to back up what they say, definitely check out Clint's YouTube channel. Next up on the list is Chris Haskins. I met Chris this past year at Vid Summit in LA because he was the only other guy at that conference who was also a real estate investor and a YouTuber. We connected and kind of hit it off and we've had him on the podcast. And in the time that I've been able to get to know him and also watch a lot of his videos, I've been like kind of blown away at how good his stuff is and just what a nice, likable guy he is. He's very down to earth. He's not like coming across as some cheesy salesman he just is who he is and in a lot of videos that I've seen of his he'll actually like walk you to a live auction in person or he'll walk you through one of the houses he's working on or he'll show you how he negotiates with people and you can kind of just ride along and learn from him as he does his thing which is pretty cool because it's not hard to find people out there who are fake or overly polished or you can't really trust what they're saying because it seems too good to be true and with Chris I just always feel like I'm getting the real deal Chris's channel is absolutely worth checking out. And coming in at number five is my friend Chad Carson. So I was able to meet Chad in person a few years ago and I've been able to hang out with him on a number of different occasions at different conferences and things that we were both at. And I can tell you because I know him, he's like the same person off the camera that he is on the camera. Chad is also an author of a Bigger Pockets book. At one point, uh, Chad and I were both blog writers for Bigger Pockets, so I kind of got to know his stuff a little bit through that. But Chad's just another like honest, down to earth individual who's got a lot of great content on his YouTube channel where he explains super practical tips and tricks and strategies that he's used himself and that he's been able to teach to a lot of other people as well. This guy's developed a very loyal following and for good reason because he's got a lot of good advice to offer. So definitely check out Chad's YouTube channel. I think you're going to like it. Next up is Matt Faircloth. And I first learned about Matt years ago through Bigger Pockets when I saw a few videos that he had done for the Bigger Pockets YouTube channel. I think some of my favorite videos of Matt's are when he kind of walks you through some of the properties that he is working on, whether it's like a rental property or an addition he's putting onto a property or some tenant issue where you can just see the real life situation that he's dealing with, what he's in the process of doing, how he's adding value to a property. And it's another one of these solid examples where I kind of just feel like I'm standing next to a mentor in this area of real estate where he's just showing me this is what I'm doing this is how I'm improving the situation or making the best of it this is my next move Matt's channel is an awesome one to check out again just like all the other channels I'm mentioning here I'm gonna link to his beneath this video and last but not least is a youtuber named Christina Smallhorn I actually discovered her channel not long ago because I was just doing a simple search to try to learn more about modular homes and how they differ from manufactured homes and man I gotta tell you her video was like less than seven minutes long but just in that small chunk of time I felt like I was like a pseudo expert on the matter after hearing all the stuff she had to say it was like she just crammed so much value into this concise video it was amazing seriously and I've watched a number of other videos she also talks about like tiny houses and market trends and other things and uh, she just really knows her stuff and she knows how to put it together in the right format and communicate the information in just the right way for YouTube. I'll go ahead and link to her channel beneath here as well. Go check it out. And also, of course, I'd be crazy if I didn't mention the RE Tipster YouTube channel, which is the video that you're watching right now. On RE Tipster, we talk a lot about the real estate investing strategies that we know the most about. Those happen to be things like land investing, rental properties, wholesaling houses, things like that. Land is probably the number one thing, but it's definitely not all we talk about. We also explain a lot of the difficult, confusing, and complicated terms and jargon that are often thrown around in the real estate industry. We take time to just dissect what do these words mean so that you can understand them. We also do a lot of like software and gear and tech reviews for a lot of the software and services that are available to uh, the real estate industry and there's a lot of it. So there's really no shortage of stuff like that for us to talk about and explain. And a lot of other stuff that kind of fits in between the cracks. And uh, also there's a number of other YouTube channels that I continually learn about 
or that I've been following for a little bit. So I'm going to link to a few more that I haven't even mentioned during the video uh, beneath the video in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. I know it may seem like kind of a trivial thing, but it actually does help out our channel a lot when people like the videos. And by all means, subscribe if you want to get more videos like this. And don't forget, there's actually a blog post associated with this video. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm going to have a link to the blog post as well over at retipster.com. So thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like all the videos of uh, the people I mentioned above. They don't even know I'm doing this, by the way. In fact, a lot of these people don't even know me personally. I'm just pointing out uh, people that I respect and that I follow and that I think you could benefit from following too. So thanks again for watching. Talk to you again soon.